already assumed lead point guard duties for a lot of time last year and in, in, in previous years is now the full-time PG one. Uh, I, I think we all know, think he can do it. Uh, it's, I guess the question would be, do you think he's going to go up another level this year? Uh, can he sustain this all by himself? Can he sustain or like take the playmaking duties all by himself and the lead guard duties and, and lead this team to maybe a playoff spot? I don't know about that, but how, how do you think the season is going to go for him? Yeah, I do want to see Fred Van Vliet take that next stride. I think he's capable of doing it because I know at times people can say he could be a little selfish taking jump shots when he should look to facilitate. But he did have games this past season where he was a, a good facilitator, you know, having games where he did have double digits and assists. And I think he will do well in this spot. And uh, I, I'm excited mm-hmm. at the potential, you know, backboard of him and Gary Trent because I do see – uh, Van Vliet taking uh, more of the facilitating role and also being able to, you know, get off his shot and, and, and go on runs himself, which you need your point guard to do. So Fred Van Vliet, he's a competitor. He, he's always looking to get better. He's always working hard. I love his character. I love his demeanor. I don't think he's going to back down from this. I think he's only going to look at this as an opportunity to get better and silence the naysayers. I mean, he's already went on to say like, yes. re- remember guys, we're, you know, we were uh, fourth before the whole COVID thing happened. So like, don't count us, count us out. So it just speaks volumes to his competitiveness. He's never going to be, you know, down and out. And I think he's going to thrive with this new role of being the team's uh, point guard. And I think it's his natural fit because, you know, at his size to have him at the two guard, I, you know, there was no longevity there. Yeah. I worked with him and Lowry for that time, but now a guy at his size, like he's going to have to learn how to play at the point guard. If you want to have a long uh, career and be successful and I think this is going to be his first season into proving that he can do that yeah he was coming off the bench you know for our championship run so he always proven like from that six-man role he was amazing then he comes in with Kawhi leaving and last season he averaged already 20 points like 19 point what six so he was already there already a 20 point scorer so especially with that 50 point game too he showed that he could score basically at will against most teams and now he just needs to add that extra layer of playmaking. Yeah. We already know he's a good defender. And then he could be one of those top guys in the leagues. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's uh, Fred Van Vliet's one of those hidden gems, if you will. I don't think a lot of people yeah. talk about him enough. And like you just mentioned, he's already got all those other traits. If he can add that layer of facilitation at a consistent level, he, you know, he will be highly regarded around the league. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here so you never miss the best clips from Stretch the Floor. Hit the links in the description below to find us on all podcast platforms and follow us on Instagram.